In October 2017, we had our first taste of VWS new T-Rock SUV and we saw that it was good. Well sort of it felt like a strong package of looks, practicality and tech but the two high-end engines we drove didn't inject us with much enthusiasm. Now, though, the T-Rock has made it to our shores. Volkswagen predicts that the best-selling T-Rock engine configuration will be the 113bhp 1.0-liter TSI with front-wheel drive and a manual gearbox in the UK. SE will be the best-selling trim, expecting to hoover up around 40% of sales but we've e stepped one higher to design for that funky two-tone paint finish. Remind me what exactly the VW T-Rock is again. It is one of the slew of new SUVs being launched by Wolfsburg that started late 2016 with the reveal of the second-generation Tiggin. The T-Rock is effectively a VW badged Audi Q2 and a test designed to be a golf-sized SUV that sits below said Tiggin but above the upcoming T-Cross VWS version of the Citroena. Still with us? How is this T-Rock different? It s at the other end of the mechanical scale compared to the versions we first drove in Europe. The 1.0-liter TSI with 114 bhp is the cheapest and least powerful engine you can get, reaching 62 miles per hour in a smidge over 10 seconds and there s no heavy 4-motion all-wheel drive or DSG automatic gearbox here. It s about as mechanically basic as you can get. Is that a good thing? Absolutely. For a kickoff it s 225 kg lighter than the all guns blazing petrol one we drove last time, which does wonders for the handling. The T-Rock is still no SUV to like the press bump suggests it is, but it feels much sprightlier from behind the wheel. Turnin' is livelier and there is plenty of grip even in wintry conditions. The design trim s 17 inch wheels with generous tire sidewalls improve the ride from bearable to pliant, too. All of the controls are light, and there is little in the way of driver engagement, but it is incredibly easy to drive, which will make plenty of potential buyers happy. The TSI engine is a peach, 114 bhp do s and t sound like a huge amount in a crossover but it is just right. It is a perfectly suitable engine for those who will be using it to potter around town or the suburban landscape. Does it still have the colorful interior? It does indeed. You re still privy to a couple of different C trims on SE but if you want maximum color choice, the design trim we have here gives you the whole suite of personalization options like our chicken car earned a yellow finish. Design trim has kit like two zone climate control, an 8 inch infotainment system, adaptive crews, all round parking sensors and electrically heated and foldable door mirrors with puddle lights. You have to pay extra for discover navigation. 1130 pounds and LED headlights with the unique squircle DRLs 880 pounds mind the biggest letdown inside is the material quality thankfully the switch gear is standard VW fare that is solid but the actual dashboard panels door inlays and handles are hollower than Homer Simpson s skull thankfully the T-Rock is a practical beast Interior space is plentiful for this class of car, with room for lanky folk in the back and a larger boot than the Audi Q2 and many countrymen.